recognise that this Let, went too far and apologise now. I mean, it's been a bizarre week, even by journalistic standards. Last Saturday, the Mail publishes a piece headlined, The Man Who Hated Britain. On Tuesday, they published this bonkers leader saying he's got an evil legacy, uh, referring to the jealous god of Deuteronomy. On Thursday, the Mail on Sunday sender, sorry, on Wednesday, a Mail on Sunday reporter goes to gate crash uh, a dead uncle's memorial. I mean, what next? Grave robbing? I'm just wondering where you draw the well, line actually, in going after... Actually, actually in, where the poor man is buried came into the story. Well, indeed. Some kind of weird conspiracy. Indeed, because he's buried at Highgate, he must be a bad which, person. That's the only thing they've apologised for so far. Look, there's Bizarre. been a grave misjudgment, a, a deeply hypocritical judgment on the part of the male here in asking these questions and posing these issues. Let me ask you this question. Who, you know, when you talk about who hates Britain or who has an evil legacy, who do you think has an evil legacy? A man who sucked up to the Nazis, who made friends with Joseph Goebbels and praised Hitler in the run-up to World War II, the owner and founder of the Daily Mail, Lord Rothermere, or a man who served in the Royal Navy, risked his life for his adopted homeland, Ralph Miliband. Who do you think hated Britain more. And this isn't just about Ralph Miliband, actually, because he's actually opened up a whole debate about the Daily Mail. You want to talk about who hates Britain? But, but, but this is a paper... Uh, Quentin, let me finish, then you come back in. When, right. when, this is a paper that in recent years said that there was nothing natural about the death of the gay pop star uh, Stephen Gately, who said that the French people should vote for Marine Le Pen and the National Front, who attacked Danny Boyle for having a mixed race couple in his Olympics opening ceremony, who called Mo Farah a plastic Brit. So let's have the debate about who hates Britain more, because it isn't a dead Jewish refugee from Belgium who served in the Royal Navy. It's the immigrant bashing, woman hating, Muslim smearing, NHS undermining, gay baiting, Daily Mail, and the <laughs> Maybe, and if I'm a good job, so be it.